leg is snatched, like Sephora for $60. This was so worth it. Like you have snatched every potential wig and weave that you could have out there. Like I am out of wigs now because of you. Thank you, Sephora. Thank you very much for snatching them all from me. That's how awesome you are and that's how much you blow me away. Okay, end of story. Again, not sponsored. I just love them so much and they could sponsor me one day. Literally. <laughs> anyway, okay. I'm not even going to start. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this high contrast look comes in green, blue, and these like yellowish, let's see, uh, yellowish hues. Um, that's the colors. It's in uh, Julie T, Chris, Wendy G, and Lou. I guess they named the colors of the palette after like famous makeup artists or something on YouTube. I have no idea. I only knew like one or two of the names other than that. I have no idea, but um, and then there's look two grunge and each of these come with like instructions how you're supposed to do it, different smudges and techniques and stuff. And they say you should use different Sephora brushes. Girl, I only could afford one Sephora brush, okay? And I brought it just for the video and to use for myself, of course. But um it is this double ended brush. It's brush number two oh five if you are interested in getting one for yourself. It's twenty dollars. It's a double and it has a crease end and a shadow end. It's very simple. Um, mostly that's all I need. And when they say like use with Sephora Pro tapered crease, I'm gonna use this crease, okay? I'm not using your number 19 pro. And then look number two is grunge. And it comes in Amy, Eliza D, Electric Violet, and Caroline. Ooh, electric. Priscilla Pancakes. By the way, I'm going to make a Priscilla Pancake video soon. And it comes in like purple, brown, and red tones, which I really love. This was like my favorite look. I wore this in my Thank You for Five Years video. It blew everyone's wig away. Let's just put it that way. Okay, okay. And some of you say like, my eyeshadow, which are not some of you, only one person. No shade. But some of you, one person said that I didn't blend enough. I don't care. I love keeping a bold look. I wear eyeshadow because of the boldness. The only feature that people really notice are the eyes and the lips. So if I can't make the eyes pop in, honey, then my whole look is ruined. I might as well smack that like a makeup wipe across my face and start over. So uh, look three is monochromatic and it comes in moonstone. Moonstone. Jeffrey, Sean, and Dina. And it comes in this blue and greens. So pretty. Jeffrey is kind of an ugly color, but you'd have to blend it. It reminds me of my green screen. You'd have to blend it with the other colors to make sure it looks good because other than that, it's just really ugly in my opinion. And Kaleidoscope is this and it is yellow pink blue and green and this look i wore in my sassy way to role play i love this look people fell in love with this look and there is a whole bunch you have to do behind it and blending and mixing and twerking and whatever yeah i was twerking the music while putting on that eyeshadow so this is like their little manual thing that came with the palette and it shows the different names of the colors. And I'm going to show you that now when I whip out the amazing Sephora Pro palette. Uh, doesn't it remind you like a mermaid? Like, look at that. Oh my god. Literally, I bought this palette just for that. Just for that. And it's a Pro Pigment palette. Again, an editorial. You can find these in Sephora.com. And it has this humongous mirror, and I don't use the mirror because I have my own makeup mirror, which lights up. <gasps> Wouldn't that be cool if the eyeshadow palette actually has like a light here? And I better keep my mouth shut. Someone's gonna steal some idea. Anyway, unless it's already been made, oh, they might cost me. Okay, so these are the colors, the amazing, gorgeous colors. Like I would just give you some time to take a look and admire. 
say the tops are like the whites, the second row and third row are, or the second row is more like the red hues, third row is like the bluish ones, and the fourth is like the sparkly ones. I noticed the bottom row and the top row don't lay over as much, and that's okay because you're supposed to use like base colors like the second and third row. There's my ring light. How you doing? <laughs> and then um, the bottom and the tear duct areas and uh, the bottom row is also great for like adding uh, glitter over the bold color so it's like bold and glittery um, so it's like an overcoat kind of like what you imagine the overcoat on a nail to keep it like protected that's how I use those and so um, I'm going to list the names of them now let me just put this manual there we go. Uh, okay. The white is porcelain, then comes white gold, rose quartz, another crystal name. I know there's a pattern here now. Julie T, Moonstone, Ice, and Silver Coin. Then comes Tangerine, Amy. Eliza D, Tila, Maisha, Electric Violet, and Adi. Then comes Champagne, Jeffrey, Helen P, Grass, Sean, Chris, and Dina. And then finally, Pink Quartz, Wendy G, Lou, Caroline, Hector E, David, and Ilt. So that's what you get from this palette. I'm going to apply some colors now without using the instruction manual, just using this mirror here and just applying what I think would work for this look. So right now, right away, I notice my lips and they are um, having two different colors layered over them. One is the lip stain by e.l.f. It's like this red color. And then the other one is this, um, I believe it's like a gold, something flower or pink. I was like a pink and red hue. Um, I don't want to wear orange or red right now because of um, I already did that. So I'm gonna try to do a mix of um, like the top row here, the whites they have, and some of these like champagne colors. So um, for this look, I'm gonna use white gold. As the overlay color, I'm gonna do that soon. I want to use uh, this one uh, and this one right there, which is Wendy G and Caroline. And then for like the tear ducts, inner creases, I'm just gonna use this white here, which is porcelain. So we'll see where this goes. Um, I'll try my best here. I still, I want to add one more color, and that's this one. I think that will look nice, which is in David. So, uh, let me give this a go. I'm going to use David first. Something told me to use David. And just like... So you can see I already did all my makeup, all my eyeliner and everything, and I already put the uh, cream over like the eyeshadow primer, uh, so I, my eyeshadow can pop better. And so I'm going to use my mirror for this part, and just overlay 
the first coat I always like to lay as much as I can, like dramatize the look, like even up to my brow almost. So you just blend. I'm using the shadow brush to blend this together. Look nicely. And uh, I'm gonna do the same on the other side now. This is like a greenish gold color, this eyeshadow, I noticed. Don't forget to repeat what you do on the other eye. Sometimes people like to work on one eye, then they do the next, and it's like lopsided. You want to be balanced and make sure that it's always looking on fleek. I seriously need to see more men doing makeup. I feel so alone. <laughs> Next, I am going to use. Oh, my leg is falling asleep, girl. This is work. I'm gonna use uh, the gold color in Wendy G. So it gives it that nice blended glow, you can tell. And do the same on the other side, just with the shadow brush, that's all. And I really like to pack on my eyeshadow. Some of you just do like, not me. If I want to wear eyeshadow, I want it to be seen, honey, okay? So like that, you can see the difference in color and how they blend at the center without being too obvious. Okay? And then I'm going to use the crease brush and I'm going to work on the color Lou. And Lou is going to go right along, like, you, you see that line on the top of my eye? Now you don't see it, but now you see it. See that? Just go like in that line from crease to tear duct and just wedge it like a windshield wipe. And I really want to pack this on. Uh, it can be a little discreet, so I really want to rub this in. You guys are like, ah, oh, Tony, you don't rub your eyes so much. Mind your business, honey. You see that? Oh, it's like rubbed in. And it like blends into the two colors. Like a, like a uh, shooting star. That's how I want it to look. That's my secret, honey. And the instruction manual also says it, so it's like a good technique to do. And this grease brush is like pointed and soft. So that's the kind of brush you need for this kind of technique. Make sure you have at least a decent And if it doesn't blend so well, you can always, you know, do this. That's just a little trick, right? just like blend the colors like that at the corners. So it like really defines your eyeshadow and like brings it out. So like this is a lighter color here and then there's like a darker color on the top. That's usually how I like to do my eyeshadows. And then I said I was going to use uh, It's 
like it was meant to be because this actually looks pretty nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, no, actually I didn't make a mistake at all. I realize now. I'm changing my mind. I'm using pink quartz instead of white gold. And then I use my shadow brush again because it's linear. see like the true color but you gotta put something on the bottom it just looks nicer that way and some of it can tend to get in your eye or like smudge on different places don't worry about that just line it over with highlighter at the end and the final color I want it to be is softer so I'm gonna put it with the crease Porcelain, or sorry, oh my goodness, how embarrassing. The white gold, because I changed my mind on the color. Right here, over the top. And this will just brighten that uh, center that you're looking for. Because when you close your eyes, I mean, when you open your eyes, discreet. Let me get the white gold put on the other side. Did I do this side? Yes, I did. Okay. I want to make sure I was, like, doing this in order. Sometimes I get a little sloppy. But, ooh, wow. I'm already 24 minutes in. Time goes when I do my makeup, seriously. I was like, nah, this video's not going to be long. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> you see, why does it remind me of coffee? goes great with my eyes and just like the dark contour which I love to do those dark ones and uh, so finally then I get the porcelain the brightest white color I can and dab the center here with it so it can brighten my eye and just blend it a little bit with the bottom and the top row here and do the same on the other side it just pu puts everything in place puts everything together And just blend it. There you go. And so you are basically done with your look. That's how it mostly should look. It would look even more phenomenal if you had the right brushes. <laughs> but I am not quite done here because I want to demonstrate something with you. Zoom back. And you can see it looks a lot nicer from a distance, especially when... My eyeliner is a little faded. I usually put eyeshadow first and then eyeliner, but I did now just because for the purpose of this video. The last thing I wanted to show you are these sparkly things and I don't know if I wanted to make sounds with it because I saw it in this like trending YouTube video and I was like I have to have it. Uh, these come imported from Los Angeles. Imported like God knows where it is. It's right here. I mean, okay, anyway. I'm in the same country. You can't call it import. No import tax. But regardless, This is the true color of it, and it is this non-messy glitter. That is why they invented it, and it's easy to clean up, and you can wash
wash off just with water. Do not scrub it with a makeup wipe. That is a big no-no. You're going to get irritated. And so basically you can either get it with your fingertip or with a brush. I like using a brush and you can just compact it into your eyeshadow. So I'm going to try to put a little bit on just for demonstration. It does not work with this color eyes. I would not put it on these. I only put these on when I had like a bluish hue eyeshadow or a reddish hue because obviously these two are bluish and reddish or green. This works with green too. Or orange. Yeah, you get the point. But uh, I'm going to get my brush and show you how I put it on now just so you can see. I like to use this super tiny e.l.f. concealer brush. It has like a rounded off tip and it's flat. And so I'm going to zoom in again so I can demonstrate. I grab a very tiny amount. Do not be generous with this product, as you can see. It is very sparkly and potent. <laughs> no way. So I'm going to use the camera to apply it just so you can see it. I seriously am cringing right now because this does not work with this color, but I use this as eyeliner. Oh, this would also be a good Christmas look. So I basically like line the edges. Um, and just tap it on like that and kind of like blend it out, you know, balance it together so it's like a nice look. I like putting this on my top lid, um, but I am kind of scared to put it on the bottom because I'm scared to get it in my eye. But you can see, um... That's how I do it. I'm just going to demonstrate on one eye, I guess, so you can see how it looks. Uh, but I also wanted to uh, pull some out and try to make sounds with it and sacrifice a little bit of it. Um, I'm not sure how it would make sound. I guess you can get it with your finger. paint with it, I guess. It's super watery. It's like a watery glitter, as you can see, so you can basically, I mean, put this anywhere, really, just like, just like that. I don't know. <laughs> this is so cheesy, like that footballer look. Oh yeah, footballers are gonna whatever. Become the next red glittery avatar. What am I doing? Oh god, help me. If the Emmy Ways didn't cringe now, they will definitely cringe now. Well, I don't think you guys will cringe that much because I know what I'm doing with eyeshadows. Like, I think I did a pretty good job with the tools that I had. There's the amazingness of it all. It's so like monochromatic. It just reminds me of like just mermaid goodness. I mean, how could you not like this? Seriously. Okay, if only my camera could focus. There we go. 
you know, just have fun with it. Like, don't take life so seriously. I'm gonna put the blue where I usually put my highlights at. And my contour. And so you could, like, be all cool with it. And I just have fun, honestly. It's just